Continuing our coverage of the Trump search for a vice president nominee, another name at the top of the list is former House Speaker Newt Gingrich. Our Rafael Sanchez was there as Gingrich left Indianapolis. Uh, Todd, good afternoon. You can blame a busted tire on that Trump plane for making Indiana the political center of the Republican presidential universe. Newt Gingrich was forced to travel to Indianapolis to meet with Mr. Trump. This was not supposed to happen in downtown Indy, but Trump was stuck in Indy while that plane tire was being replaced. That took several hours. Hours. Both men met at the Conrad downtown. Gingrich traveled with Trump, as you may recall, last week in Ohio. He got a similar tryout as Governor Pence did in front of a large crowd. Also traveling with the presidential nominee were his children. They are said to be intimately involved in who their father chooses as a running mate. We caught glimpses of Don Jr. and Eric Trump getting into their SUVs in an alley near Monument Circle, as you see right there. And Trump's campaign manager, Paul Manafort, the man you saw just there in, that, in the passenger seat, well, he was also in, Indiana in Indianapolis. Manafort reportedly did not meet with Pence when he traveled to New Jersey over the 4th of July weekend. Manafort was in the vehicle with Newt Gingrich as they both left Indianapolis around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Trump has a fundraising event in, in California today. The rest of his schedule, Todd, has not been publicly announced, but all eyes are on that countdown clock as the governor has a Friday deadline.